Hi, Chuck. I got a good one for you. Okay. The explainer time. Okay. Right on. This, this is good. Add a few extra O's in the good. Well, it's this good. One. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> so you might have heard intermittently every now and then that uh, Earth's poles will flip. Have you ever heard? You've heard that. Right. I've heard Pe people say it. Say it. Well, thank you for clarifying that, right? right. And yeah. clarifying that it's not what is true, it's what people say or think is true. These are not always the same thing. So right, the, right. The, it was especially bandied about when we were approaching not only the year 2000, but also the year 2012. Mm -hmm. But every 10 years, people band together and want to declare that the world is about to end based on some it's, cosmic yeah, it's force. Be, right. I'm intrigued. I think that people need need followers. If you're the one saying the world's going to end and no one else is, people will think you have special knowledge, and then you become sort of this guru of, of prognostication. So let me just make it clear that Earth's rotation axis with Santa Claus at the top is not flipping. That is a completely stable configuration. We bob up and down a little bit, okay? And so... Uh, on our spinning axis, we not only precess, which is a fancy word for wobble. Okay, we wobble. If you ever played with a top, as the top slows down, you see it wobble. Uh, but also we bob up and down. Okay? And they all happen on very different time scales. But none of them involve a flipping of Earth's axis, and north and south. However, what does flip are the magnetic poles. Uh-huh. The magnetic poles. Now, let me just nip something in the bud here, okay, just mm -hmm. so you know. Uh, you're old enough to have probably used a compass in your life when you were a kid, all mm -hmm. right? Okay, uh, which way does the compass always point? North is the, what they say. Okay, so that, that's, that's correct. And it, it points to the north magnetic pole, all right? Right. Which, by the way, does not exactly align with Santa Claus. All right. Okay. It's, there's, by the way, there are things in the universe where the, it's almost at 90 degrees to each other. So there's, there's nothing specially, it's, it's no cosmic pre-requirement that they perfectly align in the spinning object. All right. So in our case, they don't align. The North Pole is sitting somewhere in northern Canada. All right. So if you're trying to find Santa Claus with a compass and you're in northern Canada, you're going to land in the wrong spot. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. Just to be clear about that. No, no wonder for... we can't find them. <laughs> it's why you, you that's didn't why get your presents. So... You didn't get your presents this that's year, Chuck. So good. Yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> you didn't get your pony. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I can't find this. You gonna pay what you owe, Santa? <laughs> <laughs> so, so it'll find the North Magnetic Pole. All right. So that thing that's pointing there is the North Pole of the compass needle. The compass needle is itself a magnet with a north and a south pole. Now here's, here's a little known fact, okay? Uh, what can you tell me about north and south poles of a magnet? That, you take two magnets together, what do they do? Well, you know, they repel each other if it's the same which, pole. Which repels, what, which repel? Oh, so it, north, north to north and south to south. They each repel each other, They repel each other, right, the, yeah. Like charges repel. Right. So wait a minute. If the needle of a compass that says north on it points to the north pole, shouldn't it be pointing in the opposite direction? Right. It should be repelled and pointing down. Okay, except it's not. It's attracted, which tells you that Earth's south magnetic pole is in the north. Because the north part of all b magnets point in that direction. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I just—I don't know I'm, if you knew that. No. Okay. I, and then, I, you know, like I. Here's the thing. The, you already you. What you did was you took the empirical and put it first. 
Yes. And then you said the ridiculous thing afterwards. <laughs> so now what am I left to do? I'm like, well, he already proved it. So what am yeah. I going to do? Like, yeah, it's, it's pre it's pre approved. It's, it's yeah, it's, science. I, like I can't be I can't say like, yeah, right. Whatever. You know, yeah, no, no. Because you no, already like, with me on it. You, exactly. You, you help me. Yes, absolutely. Right. You, so yeah, demonstrate this. And they don't tell you that in the Boy Scouts. No, they don't. That you that the. Earth's south magnetic pole is in the north, which is why all north poles of magnets point there. Sorry, little Tommy, but you're screwed. Uh, <laughs> no, you, your compass your is lying entire con to you. <laughs> compass concept of reality is off right. like, by 180 degrees. All right, wow. so here's what happens. Uh, we have a magnetic field because our core is fluid. All right, all the heavy stuff when Earth was molten uh, the heavy stuff fell to the middle, and the heavy stuff is the iron, and the light stuff, which is the rocks, floated to the top, okay? And we don't think of rocks as light, but it's much lighter than metal, all right? And so all the metals, nearly all the metals went to the core. Some got frozen in place, as so you have these ores, these veins of ores. As Earth is solidifying, it didn't fall down fast enough, and it got frozen in place. There are other occasions where volcanoes can redistribute material from below and put it up in the crust. But basically, most of Earth's iron is in our core. And it's hot. And so the iron is molten. And when you have molten and you're spinning, you have moving, magnetically uh, chargeable metals. Okay, Iron is, ma is magnetizable. When you have moving metal, you create what's called a dynamo. And in a dynamo, you basically create a magnetic field from scratch. Wow. That's why old, dead planets that have cooled do not have magnetic fields. Right. Wow. Okay? They don't, they don't have magnetic fields. Like Mars, no magnetic field to speak of. Okay? Because it's, it's cooled faster than Earth did. It's smaller, so it cool, if you're smaller, you will cool faster. And so, no, there's not, you don't have these, this churning... Uh, by the way, Mars once did, for sure. Mars has the largest known volcano in the solar system, okay? So Mars used to be hot on the inside, but that's called Olympus Mons, all right? Makes our volcanoes look like molehills, by the way. It's huge. It's huge. So anyhow, the, the point I'm getting at here is the dynamo goes through cycles. Okay. And it goes, it goes, it goes stronger, then it goes weaker, and it flips, Gotcha. And so every half million years or so, the magnetic field of Earth has flipped. Period. Okay. That's pretty wild. Okay. Yeah, it's, 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 it's fascinating. And while it's flipping, it actually goes to zero and then recovers coming out the other side. Okay. So then that makes me ask, what does the magnetic field of Earth do for Earth and do for us? Other than give compasses... A meaning yeah, in life. Yeah. Other than confused um, <laughs> Boy Scouts who don't understand that that the compass should be pointing in the opposite direction. Well, Einstein was quite intrigued by a compass that some mysterious force that you can't see, touch, smell, or taste is forcing the needle to move. Right. And he was very intrigued by that as a child. So uh, I think we'd be thankful that we had compasses back. If it was just GPS with a handheld device, of finding north, I think maybe Einstein would not, you know, he might have gone on to play basketball or something. Who knows? Wow. Who knows what career he right. might have had? <laughs> so, actually, that's the opposite of a Gary Larson comic. That's where I got that idea from. There's a, a picture of Einstein on a basketball court, and right. he's like dribbling, right? And it said, uh, Albert Einstein uh, in school was destined to be, to be uh, uh, you know, all-star basketball player until an ankle injury <laughs> sent him <laughs> into his physics books. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the point is that so the magnetic field has flipped. And what the magnetic field does when it's operating is it creates a magnetic shield around Earth, if you will. And when charged particles come from the sun, the solar wind, we call it, uh, they see this magnetic field and they spiral down towards the poles. Uh -huh. or, or towards the magnetic poles. And as they spiral down, they careen into air molecules. And if you have two molecules that collide with each other, energy gets exchanged. 
Okay, so your, your energy of motion gets boosted into the energy inside the molecule itself. So you've excited the molecule. And then on its own timetable, like fractions of a second, it de-excites and then radiates visible light. So wait a minute, what is that? Oh, I know what that is. That's the aurora. That's pretty wild. The aurora borealis that's in the north. And take a, take a gander what it's called in the south. Um, the, uh, let me see. Um, the Southern Aurora Borealis. Okay, thank you, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I'm okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's the Aurora Australis. The Aurora uh, Australis. Australis, right. Okay. Because it's symmetric, right? Yeah, we have a North right. Pole and a South Pole. South Pole. So we make a big deal of our own Aurora because 90% of the human population of the world lives north of the equator. Right. So we get Aurora. There, so there it is. And, and we know the field is flipped. You know why? Because you can see volcanic planes where iron came out and the iron aligned with the magnetic field when it froze in place. And you compare this from different generations of volcanic eruptions and you can see the flipping of the orientation of the, of the iron uh, particles. That is it's it, it's remarkable. That is really outstanding. That's pretty wild because yeah, the 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 the, the mag, it's a magnet. So it's metal in a magnet, and it's actually um um uh, it's uh, doing its thing, succumbing it's, to the properties of mag of magnetism. Correct, and, correct. And if Earth is helping that out, it's going to align them when it freezes out of the volcanic uh, flow. So, yeah, no, it's, it's pretty cool stuff. And it all comes together. And by the way, this involved like astrophysicists and geologists. And there's a plus there was a worry if we don't have a magnetic field, that means the charged particles come straight into us and don't get directed to the poles. Would that be bad for life on Earth? So it might be, you might think it would be, but there are no particularly striking extinction episodes. Right. Uh, at, at the times when these when, when it flips magnetic and it fields goes are flipped. To zero. Yeah, there's right. no, there's no. We've, we, by the way, animals are going extinct all the time, especially now because humans have a, have their hand in this we're, process. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're told it's the we're sixth extinction, them. really. Wow. All right. Uh, so, um, so yeah, that, that's in case you didn't know that your compass points south. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> all right, uh, that's all we got time for. Chuck, always good to have you there. Always man. a pleasure. All right, this has been uh, Star Talk Explainer. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Keep looking up.